What's going on everybody, it's your boy here, and welcome back to another episode of South Stand Signings. The series, of course, we go through everything happening in and around the world of Leeds United. And we have a little talk about it. And we are here with a late night update because it is a Sunday. And there seems to be a lot of murmurings about a lot of things. Is Manor Solomon off the table? Is Ilian Cabal on his way on a flight as we speak to Leeds United? Is Fade Bolo Torre back on the table? There is so much to talk about, so let's not waste any more time. Let's get straight into the meat of the action. And the first story is surrounding Fado Bolo Torre, or Fode Bolo Torre, sorry. And Fode Bolo Torre is expected to pass his Leeds United medical, which is a little bit of a rigorous one. We saw it last year with uh, Cuisance, who failed, or two years ago, sorry, with Cuisance, who failed his Leeds United medical. You know, we aren't the same mugs we used to be in terms of allowing people to join the club. Um, he is believed to be able to pass it because there has been a lot of questions over his, uh, how should we say, his fitness issues. We've seen similar stories surrounding Manor Solomon with his fitness issues. And there has been a lot of speculation as to whether Fodor Balotori is going to be able to remain fit for a long part of the season and people speculating that he wouldn't be able to pass a fitness test uh, now as to whether Leeds United would make this signing that is still yet to be seen because we do need strengthening in that position but there isn't any information to go off in terms of Fodor Balotori coming over to Leeds but at least we know that he would be able to keep himself fit. So a bit of a filler story to start with. The second story is around the big man. You know, I had to ease you in gently before coming in with the big story that everyone has been going crazy about all day. And it is Manor Solomon. And there is a late transfer twist as Leeds United eye the deal. That is right. Tottenham attacker Manor Solomon has apparently had Premier League coaches speaking to him as as he is on the cusp of joining Leeds United. This is according to Shea Lugassi. The Barca Times journalist claims that none of the sides believed he was ready for an offer and thus did not proceed with their initial interest. The Israeli international is understood to be on the cusp of sealing a move to Leeds United. Lugassi wrote on X, there were also coaches in the Premier League who spoke in an end. He was not ready for an offer. I said in total that Tottenham did not receive an official offer. This comes after he wrote on the 24th of August that he will undergo a medical at Leeds United with a simple loan for one season without a purchase option. Now, why is this all very, very interesting? Because he was reported to have been completing and in fact completed his Leeds United medical yesterday. And this is around 6 o'clock, 7 o'clock on a Saturday. So you're thinking, hang on a second, if he's done his Leeds United medical why are we not hearing about it why are we not hearing anything about Manor Solomon coming out of Leeds United right now it's a Sunday we're all sat here scratching our claws waiting when the heck are we going to hear about this and now people are speculating that either he's failed his medical because his because of his pre-existing injury record or that maybe someone else has come in for him. Maybe the club has decided to pull a U-turn. Maybe the club has decided to go for Roland Salai instead. Maybe Ilan Cabal was on his way instead because there is reported flights from Ilan Cabal or from Paris with Ilan Cabal on coming over to Leeds Airport. We will get onto that in a little bit. However, I believe that this is just simply a situation of it being a Sunday. And it's very rare for a lot of clubs to actually announce deals happening on a Sunday. Usually they either delay it an extra day or they try and get it out of the way the day before. Maybe it just wasn't happening soon enough for them to get it out of the way on a Saturday. Maybe it rolled over to the point where they were like, you know what, let's just keep this under wraps for a little bit. Let's hold our gunpowder a little bit dry and then come out on a Monday with all of this information. And I believe very, very early tomorrow morning, you are going to see a lot of information surrounding Manor Solomon. Usually things just happen to go a little bit quiet on a Sunday. That's just the way football works. And I think also there might be another deal in the offing that could be happening 
either late today or early tomorrow that they're trying to double up with the Manor Solomon deal. I think maybe they're trying to wait to drop an absolute bombshell on us tomorrow because, you know, Leeds fans have been a little bit up and down with this transfer window. Maybe they're waiting to drop a bombshell on us tomorrow and just, you know, give us a great double deal. Elan Cabal plus Manor Solomon. Who knows? But that is my speculation anyway. Let me know what you guys think. Are you a bit peed off with the fact that it's taking them this long to announce anything? Are you a bit scared that the deal could be in jeopardy? Do you want Manor Solomon at the club? It's been very, very polarizing, you know. Maybe he's changing his mind after some of the reception that has been all over the internet after he did take his Leeds United medical. There's so much that goes into this, but please. Let me know what you guys think down in the comment section down below on that one. Now, in other news, Leeds United are looking for a late loan deal for another player and apparently looking to cash in on Voba. There has been a very, very, very big twist in the saga today with Voba. It did seem like he was going to be staying put at Leeds United. Then it seemed like he was going. Then it seemed like he was staying. And the most recent murmurings are that Munch and Gladbach are very, very interested in potentially taking him. There is talks of him going back to Germany. However, it doesn't seem like they are able to stumble up the fee that Leeds United wants. So now they're trying to loan him out again. They're trying to loan him maybe with an option to buy. But Leeds don't really have enough backup in that area. I know he's been a bit questionable with his mentality, presumably. Uh, a lot of Leeds fans, including myself, get the impression from him that he doesn't really want to be here. He doesn't look like he's working that hard to be here. That kind of contradicts him saying to Fark that I'm here and I'm ready to fight for my place. So... Who really knows what to make of this situation right now? All I know is that we can't really afford to loan him out, especially especially if we haven't brought anyone else in. Now, maybe this coincides with the Fodabello Torre story that we were talking about before. Maybe they want to bring him in and let Vober out. I don't know. There's not really a lot of information to go off, but I don't think loaning him out is a good move at all. Now, what is... Very, very interesting, on the other hand, is this information right here. And that is kind of coinciding with what's going on right now. If you look at this information here, it was posted by LUFC Fanzone earlier, among with many others. This is a chartered flight. Now, this is the same chartered company that uh, Larki Ramanzani used when he flew into Leeds the other day. So it's the same company, the same jet that was used to bring Ramanzani in. Well, not the exact same jet, but the same company's jet that was used to bring Ramanzani into Leeds the other day is coming from Paris today to Leeds Bradford Airport. This will be scheduling to arrive very, very shortly at the time of recording this video. And we don't know as of yet who is on it. Now, there's a lot of speculation that the person that is on it is Larki Ramanzani. Now, whether that is the case or not, well, not Ramanzani, sorry, Elan Cabal. Now, whether that's the case or not, we don't know. I'm hearing some people saying that he should be coming from a different airport. Uh, uh, judging on where he lives in Paris and it's not the same airport that he would be coming from, but... I don't know for that to be 100% true. He has been linked with Leeds for a very long time. He did play for them the other day. That kind of quashed rumours that he would be joining a little bit. But the stories are still circulating and there's still a big chance that he does come. And Leeds are apparently still interested in a number 10. And you're seeing that with Leeds being linked with Ilias Che. You're seeing that or Shair, should I say, Ilias Shair. And... Leeds still being linked with Cabal, Leeds being linked with Salai. So as to whether this deal gets done, I don't know. But we're going to have to wait within the coming hours to see if he is potentially on this plane. And there will be a lot of Leeds fans looking around to see if he is on it. But anyway, guys, let me know what you guys think about all of these news stories down in the comment section down below. For now, guys, I will see you very soon. Au revoir, my brothers and my sisters.